Hi everyone, Emily Allison here and today in this video I'm going to teach you a kundalini yoga exercise called the immune system booster. Now why am I wearing a hat? There is a reason for that and the exercise that we're going to do today specifically says the head must be covered or else you can get a headache. So if you need to press pause and go get yourself a toque or a beanie or whatever you call it, <laughs> some kind of head covering, uh, that will be very helpful to you because I don't want you to get a headache. So, as we start any kundalini yoga exercise, we must tune in with the <clears throat> mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. We do that three times and then we will do the exercise. So sit in easy pose, which is with your legs crossed as best you can. But if you do need to sit in a different way that is comfortable to you, definitely make those adjustments. <clears throat> okay, so drop your shoulders, rub your hands together. Bring your hands to your heart, drop your shoulders, inhale and begin. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo Ong your hands. <clears throat> okay, so this is the immune system booster, the inner sun. And doing this one, we sit in easy pose in a cross-legged position with a light jalander bond. And what jalander bond is, is a squeezing of the muscles of the anus, the sex organs, and the navel. So can you just do that for just a minute? Try it out for yourself. Squeeze the navel, squeeze the sex organs, squeeze the muscles of the anus. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So there will be that in the back of everything that we're doing. So just keep that in mind. It is common to forget to do those things. So there is a lot of little moving parts. So that is something you can practice. So the mudra, the hand position for this, is bending the left arm and raise the hand up to shoulder level. The palm faces forward. The forearm is perpendicular to the ground. And make a surya mudra with the left hand, which is touching the tip of the ring finger to the tip of the thumb. So that stays like this. That's called a mudra. The mudra of the left hand may slip during practice, so just remind yourself to keep it steady. <clears throat> now make a fist with the right hand, pressing the tips of the fingers to the pads of the base of the fingers, and extend the index finger. With the extended index finger, gently close off the right nostril and concentrate at the brow point here. Okay? So the breath pattern is begin a steady, powerful breath of fire and emphasize the beat at the navel. The navel must move. So it looks like this. Now there is no mantra, no chanting with this. It's just Beth of Fire. So we'll get a rhythm going. We're going to do that for three minutes. <clears throat> at the end, inhale deeply after the three minutes and hold the breath. And as the breath is held, Interlace the fingers, beginning with the right thumb at the up, at the uppermost spot. And pull the palms in front, just below the throat, around the thymus area, about 14 inches out from your chest. <clears throat> now try to pull the fingers apart with force as you've held your inhale. And resist and create a tension. And then when you must, and everybody's different, then you exhale. And repeat that three times so it looks like this. So that's relaxed. Inhale. And do that three times. So that's at the end. And then on the last exhale, discharge the breath by blowing through your upturned lips with the tongue curled back on the roof of the mouth, like this. And And 
and this will seal the upper palate upward and then relax and I'll read the comments afterwards so let's do it together with the ring finger touching the thumb <clears throat> drop the shoulder the right hand with the right index finger covering the nostril and breath of fire for three minutes let's begin Inhale. Inhale. Breathe naturally. And sit with your experience. Can 
going to read you the comments about this. This advanced immune therapy hits, a, hits at viruses and bacteria. The head must be covered or else you can get a headache. This is a kind of tantric kriya. The immune system interacts with the nerv central nervous system, the glands, and the emotions. We are each given the strength to encounter life and life's challenges. We have moral strength, mental strength, emotional strength, and physical strength. All these strengths are interconnected. We block the flow of that strength when we experience feelings of anger, self-defeat, and blame. To boost the immune system, we must overcome these blocks. The right hemisphere of the brain stores many of the diffuse negative emotions that lead us to depression and to a lower functioning immune system. This meditation stimulates the sympathetic nervous system and the right hemisphere just to, to adjust themselves. In this process, you may go through various emotions as the glands start to shift their balance. This is fine. Relax and keep going until you are through the emotional inertia. Then you will feel light energized and hopeful. With gradual practice, you can take the time up to 31 minutes. At that level, your whole system is cleaned and rejuvenated. The immune system will have a new vigor and will not be blocked by inner conflict. This type of breathing is called the sun breath. So that is the immune system booster or one of them, the inner sun. Thank you for joining me today and we close out with a long sat nam. So, Rub the hands together. Place them at your heart. Drop your shoulders. Inhale. Sat Nam. Sat Nam, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Emily Allison, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.